A casa! Your name? Jose Lazada Ben Goyal Navarez reporting for duty, sir. The Colonel will see you. Follow me. Thank you, sir. Jose Lazada Ben Goyal Navarez reporting for duty, sir. My duty and pleasure, Don Jose. To welcome you to our regiment. Thank you, sir. No doubt you've heard that life is pleasant in this regiment. But it's a fashionable catch-all for young men of good family with no talents to speak of. That we're called a gay policeman because we do little more than stand guard here and there a few hours a day and keep the peace such as it is in Seville. The rest of the time you may have heard... Oh, no, sir. The rest of the time is spent in the consumption of great quantities of wine and gambling and making love to the girls from the cigarette factory. For approximately 200 of these girls, and the factory is next door to the barracks. Great convenience and a blessing for the dragoons. Yes, sir. You may have heard these things, and they're true. Let me inform you, however, that a young man willing to work and to maintain a degree of integrity, sobriety, and honor has a bright future in this regiment. We need a few like you here. Your record is good. Your navigations are hard-working, moral, proud. We need a few like you here. I hope you're ambitious. Yes, sir. I've heard that in Seville, a promotion in the Dragoons is a uh, step toward a government position. Good thing to keep in mind. Have you ever been in Seville before? Do you know the city? No, sir. You're relieved of duties for 48 hours. Look about the town, familiarize yourself with it. The people here in Andalusia are a different breed from your northerners. Look them over. Thank you, sir. Dismissed. There's nothing so good to the taste as a thing that's been warmed by the Spanish sun. Huh? Well, not only is he beautiful, but music comes out of him. Well, it's just a watch. It chimes. Ah, oh, too bad. I thought for a minute you had wonderful possibilities. It's just a watch. See? Too bad. But maybe we can be friends anyway. Would you like a bite of my orange, little soldier? Thank you. On the second thought, perhaps it would not be proper. After all, we haven't been introduced. I'm Jose Lizarra Ben Goa, just arrived in Seville, senorita. Senorita? <laughs> Me? <laughs> you have just arrived in Seville. Where did you come from? From Navarra. Aha, a Navarrez. I've heard that the men from Navarra where little blue berets tell big black lies and don't know how to love a woman. <laughs> I've always wanted to find out for myself whether this was just gossip. Or... Prosperidad y salud. Que Dios los bendiga. Prosperidad. 
prosperidad y salud. Que Dios te dé muchos hijos. Mm. Look at them. The bride. They paid out their last peseta to get rid of her, but it was worth it. The bride. She'll hate him, but she'll cling to him like a leech. There's a payo wife for you. And the fine groom. In a week, he'll be beating her. There's a payo marriage for you. Shut up, you. You talk that way because nobody'd marry a gypsy like you. No. I could marry any man in Seville I wanted to. But I'd rather be dead, do you hear? I'd rather be dead than be the stale wife of the spiritless Palio. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, Manuelito, remember me, little pig of a palio? I told you she'd catch you off, little estupido. <laughs> no te enojes, mi amor. Vámonos de aquí. Cállate, mala mujer. No le hagas caso. Vamos, vamos. you find who you're looking for, Jose? I'm not looking for anyone. I, I don't know what you mean. I've noticed you for two days now. You search among these girls as though you're looking for a long-lost relative. Did the gypsies carry off your baby sister many, many years ago? Why'd you use that word? What word? Gypsy, yeah. I thought you said gypsy. I did. I suppose there's quite a few of them in the town. Gypsies? Mm-hmm. I suppose so. There are quite a few everywhere. Why? No reason. Uh, do uh, any gypsy girls work in that factory? One. Just one. But she comes and goes. One never know. What time is it? Oh, I, uh, I lost my watch a couple of days ago. That's too bad. I was just... Carmen Sita! Carmen Sita! Come. Come. I've been looking for two days for you. For two days, Carmen Sita. I inquired at the factory and you were absent. You wanted little pastures. What have you been doing? Stunning myself. I'm, uh, I'm going on duty right now, but if you meet me later, maybe we can have a bottle of wine at little pastures. No. Oh. Forgive me, this is my new friend, Don Jose. This is Carmen. It's no use bothering with him, Carmen. Don Jose has better things to think about than a pretty woman. Better things? What are better things? Must you roll your eyes at every man, even the colonel? Such an important man might be very useful if he... My eyes are my own to send where I please, must I tell you again? No one tells Carmen's eyes where to go or how to behave, but Carmen. Eight o'clock at Lila's Pastius. I'll be there, Carmen Theta.
I was thinking. Otherwise, you wouldn't know when 8 o'clock arrived. <laughs> Is that the watch you told me you lost? Uh, she must have found it somewhere. How did she know it was yours? Had you seen her before? Well, a couple of days ago, she brushed against me. Oh, and she stole it from you. Gypsies will always steal anything they can get their hands on. I don't know why I bother with that girl. She's bad all the way through. She lies as easily as other people drink water. She's a liar, a thief, and a cheat. Has no more manners than my great aunt's cat. She's really awful. And I'd sell my soul to hear her say just once she loves me. Dirty gypsy trash! She's a disgrace to the town. She laughed at my wedding and made dirty remarks at my Manolito. <laughs> Oh, oh, did you see what she did? Mother, and the milk. See what she's done to the milk. I spit in your milk. And the milk of your old turtle of a mother. And at the poor excuse of a woman who married Manuelita. Who did he marry, huh? Me, not you. Gypsy garbage. Nobody would. other names until I thought my ears would drop off. And then that one took a knife from her stocking and zips up. Don't believe a word they say. All these filthy people are against me. Oh. 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 Hold her. Take the gypsy to the magistrate. She almost cut that woman's head off. I hold you responsible. Yes, sir. I'm ready to go now, soldier. Please take me away from here. <laughs> Where are you taking me, Senor Navarez? To the magi magistrate. To the magistrate? He'll send me to prison. I can't go to prison. A gypsy dies in prison. And I have no money for a bribe. In this city, you rot in prison without money for a bribe. Oh, I know. Oh, believe me, I know. I have a friend who's in prison right this very minute. That's why I'm here in Seville, working my fingers to the bone, to get enough money for a bribe to get him out. I'm not afraid of hard work. I'm a good, honest working girl. But who would take care of me if I ever fell into prison? Nobody cares about me. I'm all alone in the world. All alone. Ow! He pinched me! I was walking along so obediently and he pinched me in a most vulgar way. She lies. I didn't touch her. Fall back. You won't the other. Ow! Now this one! Is there no protection against the advances of these filthy conscripts? I did not... Look, little soldier, what a good street this is. I could give you a little shove and you could fall down and I could get away and nobody would catch me. I'd be gone before the stupid Andalusians ever knew what happened. Oh, nobody would know. You could tell them I escaped. Then I'd be very grateful to you. I'm very charming when I'm grateful. Remember? Eight o'clock tonight at Lila's Pastia? How could we be there together if I'm in a dirty prison cell? It would be so easy. I run very fast. You should see me run. I have very good legs. See what good legs I have, little soldier, for running. Wait a minute. Come back. 
back here. Help me up. Get over. I think I've injured my ankle. He made no attempt to pursue the prisoner and pretended injuries to prevent his men from following her. I warn you that you've sacrificed months of good behavior. You had a bright future in the Dragoons, Don Jose. I advise you to avoid this gypsy. I grant you the girl is interesting. But for a young man who takes his future seriously, a girl like that spells ruin. For an older man who has nothing to lose and has time for a little foolish indulgence, it's another matter, perhaps. Remember what I told you. You'll take extra guard duty and be confined to your barracks for 30 days. Dismissed. Yes, sir. What's the password, Sentry? Carmen! Carmen is the password! Just mention her name and the way is cleared like a miracle! <laughs> What are those gypsies doing here? They've come to entertain. The colonel sent his own carriage after them. When he gives a party, he does things handsomely. I'll say that for him. she be so bold as to come to the colonel's party? She's in hiding from the police. That's common. And the colonel is a man, just like any other man, I suppose. But it won't last. She never likes anybody very long. Sentry duty like a common soldier because of you. Have you? Tell me how that could be, or as heaven is my witness. Tell me how that could be. 
Well, now. This is the first time I've heard you really talk. Anger is very becoming to you. You make me think of a fighting bull. Bull. Answer me. <laughs> very simple in this case. The good, kind colonel has pardoned me. Because I'm innocent. Innocent? Well, isn't that why you let me run away? Because I was innocent? What could I do? I waited for you every night. If you preferred to walk alone in the rain, is that my fault? Well, why was I walking? Because I was punished for letting you escape, that's why. All that for me. Just imagine. I owe you a great deal, it seems. How much longer must you stand here? Well, what importance is that to you? Another hour. Just one more hour and I can leave here. I'm confined to the barracks, but I'll get away. I... I swear it. Come to think of it, I'm beginning to be bored with this party. I think I shall run away from it and go to Lila's pasture. In about an hour. That same hour you were speaking of. Little cousin. Notice how the fat's spitting tonight? Something's going to happen. You really believe in those things, don't you, old witch? I know them. What does spitting fat signify? Hmm? That emotions will grow overheated till they explode. You wait. You'll see. Well, then it's nothing to worry me since I have no emotions. It's nothing to worry Pablo, because Pablo is worried about nothing but money. It's nothing to worry Remendado, because Remendado is a fatalist anyway. <laughs> so you see, old crone, the three of us are safe from danger. So, who would you say the fat is spitting at tonight? Hmm? Hola. Well, the buzzards have gathered already. Didn't you expect us? Yes, but not tonight. We couldn't wait any longer. It was a case of fish catchers, men. We could smell it frying clear up in the mountains. That reminds me. If that old trout, the colonel, comes here, tell him I've gone. I've gone to Portugal or somewhere. I told him not to come here tonight, and to keep him away, I promised him faithfully I'd go back to his house. But I don't trust him. Men are such liars. What about Andres? Who? Hmm? Andres. You knew his name yesterday. Tell him I've gone to Gibraltar. Carmen, was the Colonel's party successful, Carmen? No, it was very stupid. Was it successful? We need another 200 euros to get Garcia out of jail. Let him stay where he is. Is there a way for a loving wife to feel about her husband? Let him rot. No money for Garcia? We'll tell him. There, thief, and be welcome to it. Is this all? I left the party early. Much love in your cards, Carmen. Much, much love. And money. A fine new dress of silk. I can feel the silk. It's the best quality. Good. Perhaps Garcia will be rescued from jail after all. And prosper. Perhaps. Perhaps they'll hang him. 
Do you happen to see a nice hanging there? No. No hanging. Too bad. But... Now, that's odd. What is? One love. One love emerges from all the rest and makes the others nothing. <laughs> You're talking nonsense, old witch. There's no such thing as one love to Carmen. One at a time. One at a time. Nothing can stop this. It's destined. It's written here. You're doing it yourself. You're pulling it to you with dark, invisible threads that are strong, Carmen. As strong as life itself. As strong as death. What is it? What do you see there that makes you look like that? That isn't my fortune. If that's in the fire, all right. Just as I said. That isn't my fortune, I tell you. I didn't cut the cards. Anyway, I don't believe in cards. I never have. As if you could see in those stupid cards that death was walking my way. We all have to die. And I can't think of a nicer way than to be killed by love.
going, little soldier. Because wherever it is, I'm going with you. <laughs> Get busy, you two. We want some, uh... Yellows, Luca. And a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine. Some bread and some cheese. And some fruit, candy. <laughs> and sausages. We're on our way to a feast. Do you want us to starve to death? <laughs> Pay the old pirate, little soldier. Thanks so much. She's always hungry, that girl. Someday she'll eat the wrong thing. Then she'll howl about the pain as if she'd never been warmed at all. Because they've lost their own appetites, they hate to see anybody else enjoy eating. Come along. This is where I live. Watch out, there are five steps here. One, two, three, four, five. Does it please you? This is where I live when I'm in Seville. Where do you live when you're not in Seville? I've, I've heard... Then you've heard lies. Because what you've heard about me, you've heard from Palios. And Palios always lie about gypsies. Always. what I've heard about the men of Nevada? What? Is it really true that they wear little blue berets and tell big black lies? Oh, never, never. I don't know how to love a woman. Well, that's true. Teach me. I'm from Navarra and I don't know a thing. There's a big black lie. I... <laughs> the gypsies say that a lover should have gentle hands, a gentle mouth, and a gentle heart. And a woman the same? No. She should have cruel hands, a cruel mouth, and no heart at all. Oh! Oh, no! No, my beads! Oh, no. The cards. You don't know about the cards. And this morning I saw a black cat. And now the beads. Breaking beads are the worst, the very worst. Those things don't mean anything. That's just superstition. Go come. away, go home. Say goodbye and think no more of Kong. What is the matter with you? You're a nice boy, but I don't love you. I don't love anybody. I never in my life loved anybody. And you're just the sort of big stupid who falls in love in return for a kiss and then makes a nuisance of himself. You can go out this back way. Get out. Have you lost your hearing? I said, go home. But why? Because... Because I'm afraid that... that someday you will be very cruel. Call me. Go away. You can't make me go away, not now, Carmen. Well, I can make you do as I please. No. Yes, any time. Any time I like. I won't have you here. You're the one I can sense it. A gypsy knows things. I never want to look on your ugly, murdering face again. Do you hear me? Stay away from me.
Joseito, wait. Joseito. Amor de gitano es como una traición. I think I must be crazy. I, I don't know how to say it. I, I don't know how to tell you, but... Love has been told a thousand ways. So let it be. You come with me to the mountains where we are. Get out. I order you to leave. Report to me in the morning. I order you to leave. Carmen is not here. Now get out. You'll be court-martialed in the morning, of course. Meantime, I think you need to be taught a little lesson. for a little corporal. for a white-livered conscript. The others should be riding in any time. I wish they wouldn't come. I wish they'd never come. We couldn't get along without them. We haven't got a pesetta between us. A man as hunted as you are needs friends. Good money-making friends.
I don't know what's happened to me. Here I am, a deserter from the army, and the murder of my own colonel. I can't imagine how it happened. One minute I thought he was going to kill me, and the next minute there, my sword. Don't think about it. You are here and I'm here. That's enough. Think about it that way. Just Carmen and Jose. All to myself. All to yourself. Where have you been? We've been waiting for you. This is Don Jose, a strong, healthy addition to our company. You'll find him very valuable. This is Raymondado. He's stupid, but a good enough fellow. This is Pablo. He's very good at fighting, but don't ever turn your back on him. I can well imagine you're starving. I have everything ready. The soldier here has just escaped with his ears. All of Seville is after him. He killed his colonel in a sword fight. Ran him through as neatly as a pig on a spit. So I decided he could join us. I like him. What will Garcia say? We need new men. Garcia's practical in his thinking. Who is Garcia? Garcia? What? He's our leader. He's been in jail. He killed a border policeman. That's eight notches on his belt now. Eight? Eight or one. What's the difference in principle? Don Cares in Seville now arranging for Garcia's release with a nice fat bribe. It isn't a bad life. We travel. There's a certain excitement about it. And when we're lucky, there's money. A little smuggling now and then. An occasional stagecoach full of rich passengers. A mule train carrying merchandise. Sit down, Jose. Here beside me, where you belong. I'm still wondering what Garcia will say. You might like to know that we cleared out the old merchant's storehouse without a cracked skull between us. It's good. It was chock full of tobacco and cotton goods like you said it was. The thieves market in Cordova will be glad to see us. We couldn't have done it without Carmen. She charmed the watchman away from his post and trussed him up like a turkey ready for the <laughs> oven. <laughs> You cheated and tied up an old man so that they could commit a robbery. Tobacco's very valuable. We sell it to smart cigar makers who wish to evade the government tax. Jose, listen to me. Whatever happens, say nothing. Do you understand? For my sake, Jose, they'll say nothing. Hi, it's good to see your empty face. We got a tobacco for you and plenty of it. Fine. What a ride. Pablo, see what's in the pot. Give me something to eat. Right away. Don't care, Raymond Dotto. Sit to the mules. Carmen! <laughs> <laughs> Show these ruffians how glad you are to have me back, huh? How I thought of you. <laughs> Every night I said to my jailer, my Carmen is the most beautiful woman in Andalusia. And he said to me, go to sleep, you filthy goat, and dream about her. And I did. <laughs> I did! <laughs> I did, I did, I did, I did! <laughs> Come, sit beside me. <laughs> Who is that? He's a hero. He killed the colonel of the dragoons. Good. What's his name? Don Jose. Don Jose, gentlemen. Welcome, senor. What's the matter with him?
<laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing makes me sick. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of excitement about you in the city today. Now, who is he? Who's that fellow? It's Garcia. He's our leader. Take my advice and keep away from him. He's a good leader, but another man's life doesn't mean much to him. He's her husband, Navarez. Her, her husband? That's right. How do you like this life? Huh? Pleasant, isn't it? You eat better than you do in the army, and the pay is much better. You can see that already. Garcia got 2,000 guras to divide among us just for politely delivering some tobacco to a crooked cigar maker. What could be simpler than that? He can keep my share. Your share of what? The money. Oh, oh. <laughs> I did not quite know what you meant. Jose. Did you see the posters in Cordova offering a reward for your capture? <laughs> You're very fortunate if your companions have such nobility of character. But don't trust Pablo. He has no manners about things like that at all. Get off. I'll see what's ahead. Oh, they come with your 
Do you know how to use a gun, Cavaliero? I was a soldier. I know. But can you shoot? I can do anything you can do. Does Carmen say so? If she does, she lies, the black witch. <laughs> I'm not afraid. When I'm killed, it won't be by a stranger, Jose. That much I know. Josito, listen. We could get out of here without anyone even knowing it. But if Garcia stayed and got himself killed, we couldn't help that, could we? The soldiers have good pistols and they shoot straight, Jose. I hate him, but he's my comrade. You're a true Paiyo, all right. Always afraid of being dishonorable. You're like the dwarf who thought himself tall because he could spit a long distance. You don't love me. Seems to be wrong. I'll get you meal and put you on it. Let's go, Jose, and bring the chickens. No use leaving them for the soldiers. Wait a minute. You don't understand. He isn't dead. He's only hurt. He's still alive? I didn't know that. We'd be foolish to leave him here. He might be recognized as one of our men. Garcia! <laughs> Take a clever person to recognize him now. Come on. is crazy bathing in these icy waters. <laughs> Listen to her. I didn't say look at her, Pajo. I said listen to her. I can't see her from here. Yeah. But you can see her in your imagination, eh? <laughs> That's what you're doing. Seeing her in your mind. Yeah, I can tell her from your face. I'm afraid you'll have to be content with just sharing my money with me, Caballero. I don't want to share anything with you. You keep your filthy money. Just 
doesn't want my money. Just what did you have in mind, Caballero, that you do want in payment for the work you do here? Is there anything else that belongs to me that you were thinking about? Anything that belongs to you would be just as filthy and evil as you, and I wouldn't want it. <laughs> I'll tell her, Pajo. I'll tell her. <laughs> but watch yourself. She'll probably slit out your white liver and serve it to me for breakfast. Are you such a coward you have to have a woman do your carving for you? Coward? Yes, coward. Has it slipped your mind that we lost the man today, Garcia? So he did. So he did. Now then, it looks as though I'll have to let this puppy live until I can find a man to replace him. Ah, I am an arm palio, as you can see. An honorable gentleman like yourself doesn't attack an unarmed man, does he? Hmm? Does he, Don Jose? That reward offered for his capture. Courage, little mule. Only two more turns of the road and we'll be in Cordoba. I'll have to find a lovesick fool who'll follow me into a nice little trap. Then we'll have some money to spend. And you'll have a fresh carrot. Not here yet. Another hour until sunset. We'll have time for a game of cards before they come. Too bad that Avanas won't be here to see the fun. Wonder why he refused to obey orders and come with us. He said he was sick and I believe him. Ah. He is sick. He's sick, all right. Sick because Carmen's doing a little work for a change. Hmm. Hmm. Don't pile your women contribute anything? While your women do not ordinarily pick up men and lure them into ambush to be robbed by their husbands, Garcia. He's what he is. He's not a gypsy. He can't think the way a gypsy does. You're not a gypsy? You think the way I do? I don't think at all. That's my protection. And I feel nothing. I simply observe and I'm amused. El Navarrez is not an observer. He feels strongly and it's killing him. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry. I won't let him die slowly of love, Don Care. Are they here yet? With the bullfights in Cordova this week, Carmen should have very good luck. <sighs> when the bullfights are in town, the place is always crowded with nice, fat pockets to pick. Today, Lucas. I'm in good form every day, Carlosito. No ordinary bull can stand on his feet against cunning like yours, Lucas. Nor any ordinary woman. But then, I'm not an ordinary woman. You know. You look to me like a man who would enjoy having his fortune told. Huh? And you look to me like a girl who would be very skillful at it. Huh? 
<laughs> I have a little place on the edge of town that's a very nice little place for fortune telling. And I know a little place in the middle of town that's a better place for fortune telling. <laughs> And I say we'll go to my little place. And I say we'll go to mine. She should have been here a long time ago. Maybe she never went into town at all. Maybe that's why the Navarez lied and said he was sick. Maybe they had it planned that way all the time. That's not true, Garcia. You two remain here for another hour. If she still comes, we'll have lost nothing. If she's playing games with me, it only takes one of us to deal with her. Why do you hate El Navarez so? Can it be because Carmen... Shut up! Well, you too, eh, Pablo? <laughs> Ah, poor little Carmen. Such magic as she possesses can only destroy her. Because I had a feeling you didn't want me to do those things anymore. I can see you don't believe me. Too bad. Don't you want something to eat? No. Aren't you hungry? No. I am. I'm always hungry. You never are. How oh, can I be when I'm sick every minute of the day? Hey, what's the matter with me? Why don't I go away from here? Well, it's driving me crazy being around you knowing that you're married to another man. Why don't I go away where I can't see it? I wouldn't be married to another man. If you'd used your head yesterday. Would I? My little companion, you would play games with Garcia, huh? I believe we had a rendezvous at the edge of town at sunset. Was I mistaken? Could I possibly have missed you, or is it possible you didn't feel like working today? No. You didn't miss me, Garcia. I had better things to do today. Didn't we, little soldier? You filthy wench. You can choose your pastimes where you like, but while I'm master here, you'll work too. Nobody's my master, you dirty old goat. 
I'm Carmen, and I work when I want to work. <laughs> So, puppy, you would play games with Garcia, too, huh? Murder's on your soul now, for nothing. Why didn't you just ask him for a car? He'd have sold her to you. Sold her? Yes, gypsies sell their women. He bought her, married her when she was 12 years old, a typical gypsy marriage. I'm going to marry her. How? Where? You can't show your face in that town in Spain. Then we'll have a gypsy wedding. A gypsy wedding in the hills. Uh, you'll be a fine pair, you two. Palio and Gypsy, the tamed and the untamed, the dog and wolf. Dog and wolf weren't created to live together. It won't work nowadays. You'll see. One camp is the same as the other. Why are we moving? We move when the birds move. They have an instinct about those things. We go now to our winter home, Joseito. We should send out invitations, I think. The senor and senora Lisa. 
What did you say our name is? Lizara Bengoa. We'll be at home for the winter in the caves of Granada. Won't it be cold living there in the caves? No, Joseito. It won't be cold. We have company. What are you doing here? I told you I wanted you to stay away from this. I was bored. I won't sit on my haunches and wait for you like the wife of a paio staring a pot of stew. I've been my own woman and a gypsy too long, my friend. I told you to leave these matters to me. I want no more of this. You told me. You wanted no more. I'm not your slave. I'm Carmen, and nobody tells me what to do. I do as I please. If you're ashamed of what I am, find another woman. Get yourself a Pio wife. You and your Pio honor. I spit on your honor. Get back to camp. I always used to ride with Garcia. I'm not Garcia. No, you're not. In many ways, you're not. Get back on the coach. All of you! <laughs> Your leader's a brave man everywhere, but at home, it seems. <laughs> Get it. <laughs> Let's go away. I want to. 
clear out of this. Come away with me, Carmen. Where to? Where do you think you can go with every dragoon, every soldier under orders to shoot you at sight like a mad dog? I don't know where we could go, but I know that I'm, I'm sick to death of this. I've had enough of it. We could go away, you and I, perhaps to the New World, to Mexico. I want to live like, like other people without hiding. I'm hungry for the sight of simple, simple, gentle people. I want to sit around with plain men and talk about, all well, about farming, about all the... I find myself so, so many times lately thinking about my home in the North. They'll hang you there, too, if you show your face. But we could go to Mexico, couldn't we? It wouldn't be like home, but we could live like other people. I wasn't born to grow cabbages, Joseito. You knew that right from the beginning when you chose to lead this kind of life with me. I didn't choose it. Oh. So it's my fault. I led you into it by the nose, I suppose. You killed the colonel. I didn't. Dog and wolf. It's beginning just like I said. Dog and wolf. I knew you'd be a nuisance. I said it. You and your tiresome regrets, and you're weeping about something that's already over and done with. Take your paleo conscience and, and make some other woman a present of it. I tell you, I'm sick of it. It'd be well if you borrowed some of my conscience, because you have none of your own. You wouldn't love me nearly so much if I had a conscience, Jose. No. Oh, that's a wonderful excuse. To say I'm a gypsy and I don't know right from wrong. I don't know, Jose. Tell me. What is right? What is wrong? Is that wrong, little soldier? way, I tell you, we're in a hurry. Well, now, so the Palios are in a hurry, are they? That's too bad, isn't it, now? Because I'm in no hurry at all. Carmen! Lucas! Carmen, where have you been? Cordoba hasn't seen you in months. Well, I've been a little busy, Lucas. A few killings, a wedding here and there. And what about you? Also a few killings, but no weddings. And many happy hours of thinking of you, my Carmen. I was on my way in the Cordoba to pick up a few provisions. But you know I'm the best provider in all Cordoba, Carmen. To a very small and exclusive clientele. I provide music and dancing and laughter. <laughs> and little memories. Other times when she went into Cordova for supplies, she came back the same day. It's probably the rain that's keeping her away. Yeah. You won't be seeing her for quite a while. You might as well make up your mind to that. Carmen likes to laugh. There hasn't been much of that around here lately, it seems to me. She's found herself a good time somewhere. I know her better than you do, Navarrez. I tell you, I do know her better. Oh! oh. Hermanito de mi corazón, que ya tú sabrás que me estoy muriendo. Te pio, he ten comiendo, que ya mi jaune cribano, también a mi primo hermano, que 
Quisiera este testamento con eso payo con fundamento. Apúnteme usted, señor escribano. Apúnteme usted, señor escribano. La la lu, 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 la la lu. Cortina que poca mujer cabe una vecina, apúntame usted, señor Ecrevano. Apúntame un teno copete que no tiene llave y cañón y baqueta, apúntame usted, señor Ecrevano. Apúntame usted, señor Ecrevano. La la lu, 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 la la lu. Apúnteme un cuadro rompido que ya ni yo sabe y al santo que ha sido. Apúnteme usted, señor escribano. Apúnteme usted, señor escribano. Apúnteme usted, señor escribano. Tu vaca de oro, tu vaca de plata, matones, madales, tu flor, tu cero, tu copa de ni, tu copa de vino, tu nove gitana que mucho me quiero. La la lu, 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 la la lu. Shouldn't have kicked him, his nose is broken. You don't like us, do you? We fill you with disgust, with a symbol of your degradation. Answer me. Where have you been? I'll beat you black and blue if you don't answer me. I was in Cordoba worrying about you. Another regiment of lancers arrived in town today, and I saw a poster offering a reward of 5,000 duros for your capture. If you're clever, you'll get out of here. There's some people who might think 5,000 duros worthwhile. I know a place outside of Gibraltar where you could stay. There's some cotton goods coming in from England. You could pick up some and sell them to Rodrigo. He's still in Gibraltar. Help me. Where have you been? I went to the bullfight yesterday, and I saw a very clever bullfighter called Lucas. They say he has an embroidered vest that costs 3,000 duros. Imagine, a vest that costs 3,000 duros. Where did you get that dress? That's my affair. Where did you get that dress? I'll kill you, as heaven is my witness. I'll kill you if you don't tell me. Jose, he don't. I'm a soldier. Who is he? Who is he? Who gave it to you? Look, Jose, you look. Look how Carmen loves you. Look. I know you. I know what you are. Look, Who is it now? Who is it now? Who is it now? Never lie to a gypsy, my friend. They always tell the truth, Lucas. And what are they telling you at this minute that makes you look like such a beautiful Sunday cloud? They tell me that the thing I've been expecting is coming nearer, Lucas. They 
They tell me that it might be soon now. You're really afraid of something you see there, aren't you, Carmen? You're not the only one who has death as a business partner, little bullfighter. Death travels with me, too, in the form of a man who loves me. The cards always say that, Lucas, that such a man will kill me. And I know such a man. Yes, you've changed. We become what we do. Don Jose. For all these months, I've been telling myself I am not Jose El Navarez. I'm not truly a deserter. I'm not a robber. I'm not a thief. I am Don Jose Lizara Bengoa, a well-bred young man with a bright future who is, for the moment, playing at being a highwayman because he loves Carmen. But that's not true. I'm no longer Don Jose because we become what we do. I'm Jose El Navarez, and I'm just as cruel and ugly and hard as Garcia was. No, you're worse. Because you have a conscience. The only really wicked men I've ever known were those who started as idealists. That's what depravity feeds on, illusions and idealism and love gone wrong. I have news for you, Navarez. No, nothing for you to worry about. She's having a good time, like I thought. Well, I know where she is. And who it is she's taken up with. Who? You heard her mention Lucas the bullfighter? He has a fine house in the street of the Bahari. And they are together every afternoon in the Corral de la Plaza. I would certainly go there and bring her back if she belonged to me. <laughs> No wife of mine would go around flaunting herself in front of... No, Jose. Now, look, I'm only telling you for your own good. Jose, please. Poor Pablo. No matter what he does, he always ends the same way. On the ground. Don't be an idiot. You can't go into the city. They'll shoot you down without even thinking about it. Be patient, amigo. She'll be back one of these days. You must get used to this sort of thing. Never. There'll be another one for every bull you kill. Be careful, you'll have me killing every bull in Spain. <laughs>
kind of a fool are you to show your face in Cordoba? Carmen. Did you see that black cat? A black cat has all kinds of bad luck. It means serious trouble every time, Jose. If you had any brains at all, you'd... Let's go home. No. Please, Carmen. I can't stand it any longer, this... this waiting. Please. Maybe tomorrow, Jose. Maybe I'll be back tomorrow. It's because I hit you, isn't it? You wouldn't have left me if I hadn't. I know you wouldn't. I don't know what made me do it. I, I'll never do it again. I promise I'll be a good husband. But please, Carmen Sita, please come home with me. No. You'll do what I tell you to do. I'll do what it pleases me to do. I always have and I always will. And right now it pleases me to watch the bow fight. Just look at the matador now, is that it? What difference does it make? Answer me. Yes. Yes. Now are you satisfied? Then why not? I like to laugh once in a while. And what have I had with you? Nothing but tears and preaching and long faces. I can't live pent up in a cage. I won't. I'm sick of it. Can't you understand? I'm sick of you. Now get away and leave me alone. Come, don't leave me. Don't leave me. I love you so much. Oh, see how much I love you. You're all I have left in the world, little Carmen. I gave up everything. I've lost everything. I gave it all up for you, but I don't mind. I'm not sorry. Only please, please don't leave me. Like a worm. Cut him in half and still he crawls. Listen. They've let the bull in. You're keeping me from seeing the bull fight. You're not going to get away with it, Carmen. Not this time, you're not. I'll kill him, do you hear me? I'll kill him. And what would that settle? You've killed two men who loved me. And for what? And I'll kill you, you black-hearted witch. I'll kill you. I used to think you would, but I don't anymore. You're not man enough. Now get out of my way. For the last time, are you coming back with me? Don't hang on to me. I can't stand to have anyone hang on to me. Answer me. No, no, 